One more if you want. Daniel's right there, down right outside the dugout. Yeah. 
I said avoid a problem, don't try to fix one after it's a problem. Get, get rid of it before, uh, before it creates a problem. We could be liable. I mean, I would say if, if there's a chance of being a problem, it's a crappy thing anyway. Yeah, well, that's what we Just like that, a hack there. Uh, uh, it was tilting toward the house. And so I told her, oh, we need to take that down. I don't know, what do I do? I, don't worry, I can do that. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and uh, I ended up borrowing the neighbors. Well, those things are a lot heavier. The limbs get real heavy, and they get heavier than when they're oh, right, right. And the base. Uh, the limbs get heavier. Yeah, yeah. So that's why you're pumping. Yes, yes, yes. And then roots are really deep. Yes, yes. And so I crawled up this tree and started hacking and cutting the straw and, and got a one, one good chunk off and then came back down and started doing another one and then it started like this. And we had a rope on it, so we're trying to pull it and it ended up we were right by a, a line of power line that came into the house. So it's like it well, could we have this way toward the roof, or it could have been this way toward the pocket. We managed to pull it back this way. Next time I wouldn't do it myself. I would just. No, I can do it. You know, we don't want to do it together. I had But that, that, uh. <laughs> That was that was not a good plan back then. No. It worked out, but <laughs> I did not do that again. No, I think uh um think we need to move on to get to it. Yeah. We can pick that up. We have a couple of people that we have to do treated. Yeah, we got a lot we got a lot of people. Yeah, or maybe, I think that one, he really had a little bit Yeah, yeah, you could do that. Do you know how much I've shot in it now to cut a tree? Hey, hey, hey! Well, we had, we did have one thing in there at the red house. It looked like it was a tilt towards the roof, basically. And it's one... We had their 
But I don't think it, I mean, it wasn't in a bad spot. It was easy to write. Yeah, we got some other uh, This one wasn't a hard to do. not have a call on the roof. You told him before it was when you told him he couldn't think. Solution. Yeah. And that protects him and nothing will get hurt. And he already got somebody that could do it. Sounds like a good thing. Yeah, because. Okay. We'll see you Sunday. Yep, Sunday. Our last game this season. Yeah. No chance. Yeah. It's either seven or eight. Hold on, I'll tell you. Got to be eight. <laughs> seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. You guys are home team against just because. Is that the team from uh, Taylor? They've got brown, brownish looking jerseys. I don't know where they're from. Maybe we haven't played them. Maybe I haven't seen them. I don't think, I don't think they've been in this league. And after you guys, it's Flash Leather and Ramrod. That would be pretty good. Game. Yeah. I'll probably stay for them. Is this two games tomorrow? No, the 9 o'clock game is um, Lone Star Dad's a pitch and triple. Oh. You guys were the first place last year, or the last year, I think I was. When the rain came? Yeah. Yeah, they were all like, we're playing, we're playing. I'm like, man, I don't know. That rain, when it came through <laughs> Tuesday night, man, yeah. it was... Because I live right there in Hutto, and it was like two different storms came through. Yeah, I live five minutes that way. And yeah. A lot of times I come by here on the way home. If it rains. Yeah, we got done just in time last two. I know. We went out there. We stood out there for 10 minutes, and then the big drops started coming down. We're like, well, see you next week. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I got in my car, and this is uh, starting to pull out. Drop further, come out. Okay. Good, good. It was supposed to be here at like 9.50, yep. but it was weird. It kind of went around. I saw it lightning way over there, yep. and the rain was, I guess it went a little north, and then it wrapped back around. So we were, I think it was about 10 o'clock. Was it 10 o'clock? When that cold breeze came Oh, over? yeah. I mean, it was like, it feels good. It's like, oh, no, but is that bringing the rain? Yeah. It's like, come on, let us get finished. Oh, 
Steve, Steve. What the heck was that about, man? We did pretty good tonight against that stacked team. Yeah. Well, after that first inning, it was 5 nothing. Right? I know. I was like, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Well, we had Chris got caught over here when he should have ran, and then Jason should have scored er, later in the game. You know, early in the game, he should have scored two from first base. Yeah. Yeah, that game did not turn out like we thought it would, especially after the first time. We're like, oh boy, this is going to be. Because that first game was just a blow. Was it? I didn't see it. I got here kind of late. Going on to eight. What was it? 21 to eight. Oh, jeez. And that was that. And that was with the team that scored eight getting three of those in the last inning in the, in the buffet. Oh, yeah? It was, I mean, it was so bad it was flipped on. Yeah, they didn't get to do their buffet. You know, they won by one point. Yeah. Um, in fact, we knew going into the bottom of the fifth inning it was going to be buffet because they were already they were up by sixteen. Yeah. So even the team scored five, they're still down by eleven. Yeah. And they still got to do flip. So we're like, yes. See ya. Oh no! Boy, I did the inning. That's all. I thought he was out of here too. Darren hit that ball country mile, didn't he? Good grief. It went over the lights. Yeah. I was sitting there going, dang. I was like, I'm glad that wasn't on the ground to me. And he goes, nah. I try not to hit it at anybody. The last, last week he hit four. Yeah. Of course, the last one was an out. Right. Which, thankfully, the last one that was an out. Ended the buffet, thankfully, because they were already, they were up like thirty-one to ten. He either hits it like that, or he doesn't hit it at all. Yeah, but he's been on the last two weeks. Well, that fourth one that he hit, he was just trying to hit a line drive. Man. It was a line drive. Was just, mm. Thank you, Darren. We needed that. Yeah, because they score. I think they scored sixteen runs in the top of the. Top of the, in the buffet, they scored 16. And the other team's home, so they get the bat. Yep. I oh, was talking about Darren hitting the damn ball. He hit that one over the lights. <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad that was in the air and it wasn't at me. Right. Anytime I see him come down, I'm like, I'm so glad I'm behind the plate. You almost killed me that one night. Out there? Yeah, yeah, I couldn't move left or right. I had to go straight down. He murders the ball. So does Shay. Yeah. Shay's got real good back control, though. Yeah, just has JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> Wherever he ends up. He had a rough night tonight. Did the double play? Yeah. Oh, good. Oh, you talking about the one play shortstop? Yeah. yeah. He's a good ball player. Yeah. He reads the dirt real well. I watch him in tournaments and he's just yeah. real good. Yeah. He usually hits the leadoff for him, but the last couple of weeks they've had him back in second behind Kyle. Yeah. Our shortstop, when he throws the ball, when he comes across like on those double plays, that ball's coming. Yeah. This guy wears a blue shirt, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's got to be coming across here faster than 80 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. When he lets go. He but I never know where it's going. <laughs> Most of the time, they try it at my knees. I'm like, can't you throw it in my chest? It's like, look, big target. Man. Yeah. <laughs> So he told me, you're too big. I'm, it would be at your chest if you weren't so damn tall. It's like he's throwing it on my knees. Yeah. Well, that one he threw, the, the runner barely got out of the way, so it came right down the side of him. Yeah. So I didn't catch it till it was like halfway there. <laughs>
He crushes the ball though too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got Steve, Shea, and Darren on the same thing. But you know, they take batting practice four times a week. Oh, yeah. I don't have time, I gotta work. <laughs> That's what they always joke that we like when the 40 and over play the last two games because y'all want to get down and get out of here. And yeah. 15 over plays the last two games, they don't give a damn because most of them retire. Yep. Yeah, there wasn't no pull on the ball tonight. The wind's too hard. No. That's why I was hitting everything that way. You know, back in the day, nobody could hit over there. Yeah. Now, if you learn to hit over there, it changes the whole game. Yeah. So it was fairly quick, and I'm left-handed. I know this was 80s and 90s, so it's been a long time. But they would do this massive shift when the left-hander came up. I mean, literally, the third baseman would move over the first yeah. like, And then they pitched me outside, and I'm like, seriously going to pitch me outside? So, all right. But like baseball guys, like when we play on Wednesdays, yeah. and I know it's a young guy, and I float one outside, I know he's trying to pull it, and I'm like, oh, I get ready. Yeah, I'm like, right back at you. I know it's coming up the middle because yeah. they don't have the patience to hit it the other direction. Nope, nope. But I would do that. I just right down the line every time, and then I'd come up again, and they would do the same thing. It's like here, it makes it a little bit tougher. You know, you got four outfielders, and you got a bucket guy. So. Yeah, yeah, and the 15 over. Yeah. But I love it when the wind blows on my pitch. Oh yeah, he got some movement. Well, he had some movement on his earlier. Hey, Playing on that lid, that's gonna do it to you every time. Good grief! How the ball in the way over there? Because I got those knuckle balls, and when the wind's blowing, oh man, I can get it to move. I told them to pitch on Tuesdays, but we got a whole team full of pitchers. So. Oh, yeah. Steve, Steve threw one. Are you bad when he threw that pitch? It, I mean, it literally started out behind the batter. No, it he wasn't at me. Knuckle all the way across the plate and landed outside. It was just one of those like, oh, I think I'm. Uh, Brian Sims, I think he might have been batting. But I can throw that church leaguer with the wind like this. Yeah. I throw it at the batter. Yeah. And it just goes. Yep. Yeah, I got a good I got a good view watching them when they come in. And I look at it like uh, Yeah, if I hold it if I hold it on the laces and do it, it'll curve. Yeah. If I hold it across them, it stays straight. But those guys come to me, those young kids like, man, hey throw that knuckle ball, that ball's moving all over the place. I'm like, well, I hold it when I'm warming up. I'll hold it. I hold it four different ways, yeah. so I figure out which way it's going to move, yeah. and then I know which I, which one I can grab. Yeah. Yeah. I can imagine if we got to play on that field over there. <laughs> I'd be parking my car way over there. Yep.
Played on that field, the only people to be parking in that lot are the ones that don't know. Yeah. Playing on that field. Yeah. Yeah, because on that one, the wind blowing out. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine how far Darren will hit it from that field? I mean, probably hit it all the way to the road. Oh, yeah. It'd go, it'd go over the cars. Yeah. But if it didn't, it's going to embed itself. The <laughs> guy Nick, the one that runs our team, he usually plays left center. Uh -huh. He cracks me up. He gets. He gets out and he throws his hat down. This stupid game. I'm gonna quit. I was like, dude, quit swinging at the first pitch because. If I'm pitching two, I'm going to throw you short in the very first pitch. Because yep. you're going to swing anyways. Yep, if you know they're going to do it. Again. <laughs> and he dips straight up. I tell them, guys, you got to hit it at your chest. Yeah. If you're hitting it at your knees, it's going up. Yeah. I mean, you get on top of them every now and then, but. Four times a night. Yeah. I'm not sure why we still have two outs on the board. I just wanted, I wanted the inning game to be over. <laughs> you can only give me so much back because we're never missing it. <laughs> <laughs> See, if we had two outs, started with two outs every inning, we'd go a lot quicker. <laughs> It'd be like a one pitch. Yeah. Yeah, that's Marty's team, isn't it? Yeah, he says it's not his team. Uh, granted, his name is not listed as a manager. Guarantee you, Joe. He makes the lineup and he gets the player. Yeah. So, yeah. And they come from over there to right over here. Yep. yep. So they run well, everybody. I've sent email after email to the city going, these guys should not be playing in this league. Yeah. And then they start, then the new guy started. And I said, I mean, but here's your scores for last season. And they were like, you know, plus seven, plus seven, plus 21. Plus. Like, it's like this every season. Yeah. And you guys let them keep playing this league. I just finally told the guy, I'm like, if you guys keep letting them play in this league, what you're telling the other team is that team's money is more important than this. Right, right. Because I said they dropped down because they didn't do well, they didn't win the league, so they dropped down and they've been winning the league every season. Yep. So the guys said, Well, I'll come out and watch them one game. You don't have to, look at the scoreboard. I said, I told them, like, I have nothing against Warren. I have nothing against that team other than they're playing down. Yeah. Like, well, we won that. two t-shirts in the league. Yeah. But it's always competitive. It's always like win by one run or. Yeah. I said, I'm not the only one. It's, I'm not, I have nothing against them. I'm not the only one that says compete. Yes, any umpire out there, that team should not be in this league. You're, you're five. Trevor. 
the guy might come out tomorrow. I don't know. But I think he was going to come out last week. Well, both times he said he was going to come out, we got rained out. Oh. Oh, that was an easy double play. Yeah, that was Taylor May. <laughs> I think I would have gone second and third though, because yeah. that was our fifth run on yep. second base. Oh yeah. But you already know where he was going to go. Oh yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yep. There's a strong possibility we're going to like the six or seven minute mark and we're going to another five minutes. Come this way. Nine forty. Nine forty. We're at 1420 right now. We have to kill seven minutes, which is possible. Tightly. <laughs> a lot of a lot of walks. Actually, we have to kill nine minutes. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was trying to figure out where seven came from. I'm, I'm, I'm like 14. Yeah, I know. My my math was awesome there. <laughs> yeah. Now, nine minutes is a lot harder to, to kill. <laughs> All right, batter up. The run run, depending on what time TKO plays tomorrow over there. Because, see, like, can they be balls deep a couple weeks ago? They had hardly any of the regulars playing over oh, there. Oh, no. Because they were playing at the same time over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, they had um, TK was playing at the same time, so their strong guys were over there, and their rest of the guys were over here. They still won that side. Yeah. And they lost over there in Mario. <laughs> Let's see. TK, oh, they don't, TK doesn't play tomorrow. Oh. So they'll be loaded tomorrow. Because they won't have any conflict. Which would be a good time for us to come out and watch that team play. It's amazing how some of these guys, 50 year old, how far they hit the ball. Because I just turned 51 this year. Why don't you play with this one? Because I play with 40 and over guys. You can do 50 and over too, both of them. Yeah, I don't know any of the teams. I mean, Steve, Greg, the guy, with the, he's over here playing. They just pick him up? Well, so you want to talk to the guy coaching for Steve. He's one that organizes the 50 and over. Oh, yeah? So, they, so it's like the, the 50 and over is not... Like the Royals, it's not a group of guys that he knows and said, okay, we're going to make a team. What, what I understand they do is um, they do a, they get the four man, five managers, and they do a draft. And they go, okay, we're going to, you know, we've got five guys that are primarily short -sized. Each team gets one of those guys. We've got five guys that are primarily pitchers. Each team gets one of those guys. So they have it. And that's the, kind of how they organize these teams. Oh, okay. And they pick up as they need to when guys can't make it or get hurt or whatever. But Steve's the one that organizes it. And he's, you know, he's always, you know, we need, you know, I always tell him if I know anybody to play, I'll, let, I'll send them your way because they can always use them. Yeah, and you're not going to run into a conflict because it's two different exactly. ways. Exactly. You know, like they, like this one, so the Royals started out with two runs automatically because this team picked up, they, they picked up three guys to make their team. They picked up one guy to make their team, so there was just two, so they get two runs. Oh, okay. So like their first inning, their first inning they scored three runs, and the second inning they scored five runs, so that's only eight. But they have 10 because they got two runs. Oh, I got you, got as you. part of picking up. Yeah. So, you know, so when, so that shows me like when they're picking up. Oh.
he should have scored. Yeah. So you know, when that team's picking up three guys, that means three of the regular guys aren't here. Yeah. So, I mean, you can you can have eleven fielders. You can bat twelve because you got. Yeah, 11, 11, 11, 11 on the field. Yeah, because they have the extra roll of the ball. Oh. Stop, ball. Stop, stop, stop. 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 The same group of guys plays on Sunday nights down at Craig, I think it is. You know, you don't have to play both, but yeah. So they know each other from that, and they come out here in the mail. Um, you know, it works out real well to do 40 and 50. And as you know, one week the 40 and over play the first two, and the 50 and over play the last two. Next week they, they swing. Right, right. Plays on All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm going to get out of here. All right. We'll see you tomorrow evening. All right. Yeah, 6 o'clock comes around early. That's the time i got to be at work. I got up at 5.15. Yeah. That was like, oh, yeah. That's six, like he's six nice. to 4.30, I work four days a week, so. Oh, that's nice. I'm off on Mondays. Nice. I work 7 to 3.30, so not bad, but, I mean, nothing happens after 3.30. I'm off. <laughs> Ain't nobody on I used to get off at 2.30. They just moved us to 4 because my boss is like, well, I'm going to go to 4s. I'll split y'all up, some of y'all off on Fridays, some of y'all off on Mondays. There you go. And he goes, that way you save a little bit of gas. I have a three-day weekend every weekend. And guys are like, man, you don't want Friday? And I'm like, I'll take Monday. Yeah. Yeah. Never know what the weekend's going to bring. Yep. <laughs> and, like, there's so many holidays on Mondays yeah. that I get paid 10 hours for that Monday even though I don't work. Goodness. And then I work the rest of the week, so I get a 50-hour paycheck. Nice. The other guys work three Three days to get 40 hours. I worked four days to get 50 hours. Yeah. So they had a four-day weekend this past week. Three. Because okay, they yeah. were off on Fridays. Right, yeah. But I'm like, I'm all right. I'm, I'm good, good, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. But like I say, you never know what the weekend's going to bring. No. If I want to go fishing on a Sunday, because late, nobody's on the lake, yeah. then I go fishing on Sunday. Yeah. Or if you're playing a tournament and had a good tournament, if it was a long one. Yeah. You got that extra day to... Nice. All right, well, I'm out. We'll, we'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.
David, unless it's Kevin. Thank you. 
how the heck do you keep that fair? How do you keep that fair? Plays his second. Play at third. And then the shortstop fills that ball and nobody in second. Mike Smith standing spectating. And Tom's playing move the fuck out there for yeah. goddamn reason. Yeah. Yes. Batter up. 
No, there's one already there. Hold on. Oh, 
Well, that was a good one. Really late. <laughs>